In The Key Games, you are the detectives. Solve the case before the other players. How to play. All the cards are shuffled well, then spread out face down in the center of the table in a messy pile. Each key hides a different, tricky case that needs to be solved. Choose a key and place it with the cards. Each player takes a briefcase screen and places it in front of them. Each player also takes an investigation file and places it hidden behind their screen. They also take a marker. The solution board initially remains in the box. Now it's time to get going. Everyone investigates at the same time. There are always three cases that need to be solved. Who stole what and how did they escape? Only the player who determines all three perpetrators and the exact circumstances can win the game. On the command, start your investigation, all the players pick a card from the center of the table at the same time. The back of the card gives information about which cards can help you. The color code shows which case the witness statement is useful for. Only take cards that show the same color on the back as the selected key. The other cards are useless. Witness statements. The investigation points tell you how useful the card is. The higher the value, the better the evidence. But be careful. Only the player who solves the case correctly while using the least investigation points wins the game. The back of the card also shows whether it is a witness statement or a lab card. The icons are particularly important. They tell you whether the card contains information about the perpetrator, time of the crime, stolen items, or escape, or which of the three crimes the evidence relates to. Once you have taken a card and turned it over, you need to decode the evidence on the back. If you took a witness statement, you can evaluate the statement it contains. Sometimes, however, the card only becomes useful later, and you need other clues first. For example, if you've established that the crime at 2 p.m. was the work of a specific perpetrator, you can circle this person at 2 p.m. and cross the other people out. The suspect without glasses can be excluded, and you know that one of the others is responsible for the robbery at 2 p.m. All results are documented in your briefcase using the marker. If you took a card with a lab result, you need to try to connect the fingerprint, item or surveillance camera image with a person. This can be tricky and you need an investigation file to help you. Cards that you have drawn are placed behind your screen. You can then draw another card right away. You don't need to wait until the other players have decoded their evidence. In this way, the witness statements and lab results let you rule out more and more options until, in the end, all three thefts have been clearly solved. If you drew a card with evidence that doesn't help your investigation, you still need to place it behind your screen. If you think that you have solved all three cases, you can grab the key. All other players continue to draw and evaluate cards. Once all players think they have solved the case, it's time for the evaluation. After all, it's not necessarily the fastest player to solve the case who wins the game, but the one who used the least investigation points. Each perpetrator, time of the crime and getaway vehicle is assigned a certain number. Note your three-digit number on your combination lock. Starting with a player who grabbed the key, you now take turns to look for your three-digit number on the solution board. If the number exists, insert the key and turn the solution board over. Only if the back of the lock matches the color of the key, you have correctly solved the case. If the player who grabbed the key correctly solved the case, they may discard one of their cards with the lowest number of investigation points, giving them an advantage. If the lock isn't the correct color, the investigator made a mistake and the next player takes their turn to check their number code. Things get excited once everyone has checked their number code. After all, there could be multiple players who correctly solved the case. All players who determined the correct number code now count their investigative points. The player with the least investigation points is the most efficient and solved the case best. 
Don't worry, if nobody solved the case correctly, you can start working on the next case right away. 